rest. through this forest fine by myself. I'm not scared. An odd structure appeared out of the gloom, towering before Ceresa. Ceresa, you can do this on your own. You don't need anyone's help. Teresa was on her own this time. How was she going to get out of this pickle?
Ceresa had certainly grown stronger since entering the forest. But even so, making her way alone was proving more difficult than expected. If only Cheshire were here. No, I'm better off without that beast. I can make it through this forest myself. Ceresa heard a familiar voice. It was Cheshire. Injured, he was fleeing from a group of fairies. <laughs> Not my problem. Somehow, Ceresa had made it through. Solo adventuring was turning out much more difficult than she had anticipated. The optimism she had right after splitting up with Cheshire was long gone. Speaking of Cheshire, Ceresa couldn't help remembering him. Colossal iron structure stood before her eyes. It was a fort built by the fairies. Ceresa once again spotted Cheshire. Incapacitated by his wounds, he was surrounded by fairies. What has he gotten himself into now? Nope. Not going to worry about it. <laughs> but before she knew what she was doing, Ceresa had set off in Cheshire's direction. I'm just going to take a look. I can't let anything happen to my stuffed cat. Talking to. The fairies had captured Cheshire. Within their ranks was one regal looking fairy who stood out from all the others. He appeared to be talking to Cheshire, but it was too far to hear what he was saying. What does that fairy want with Cheshire? The fairies carried him into some kind of fortress. Cheshire! Forgetting the peril of her situation, Ceresa rushed to follow the fairies into their stronghold. No good. There must be another way in. Huh? Oh, you! The elusive white wolf had appeared right before Ceresa. It called out to her before running away. You 
you know another entrance? Listen, this fortress is crawling with fairies. I think you should sit this one out. But the wolf just stared at her, showing no signs of moving. Let's go together, the wolf's determined eyes seem to be saying to her. Thanks. You know, to be honest, I was a little scared going alone. Don't tell Cheshire I said that. And so, Ceresa and the White Wolf infiltrated deep into the enemy's stronghold. What have you gotten yourself into this time? that way. Oh well, it works for me. Within, the fairies seem to be arguing about something loudly. I don't understand what they're saying, but if I know these fairies, it must be something absolutely nefarious.
reminds me of climbing the clock tower with Sean. She acted so tough, but I knew she was scared. <laughs> They had finally found Cheshire. He was covered in wounds from head to toe. Hiding in the shadows, Ceresa was surprised to hear one of the fairies speaking words she understood. It is simple! We just need the girl! Stay out of our way, and we will ensure your return to the demon realm. They were speaking Enochian, the language of angels and demons. It sounded like the regal fairy was trying to strike a deal with Cheshire. Ceresa felt her heart beating in her chest. What will it be? This is your last chance, demon. Ceresa waited for his answer with bated breath. Then she heard the familiar deep growl. Oh, like I can trust a fairy. I'll devour every last one of you. Despite his battered body, Cheshire's eyes still smoldered with defiance. Cheshire! Thankfully, the white wolf held the nearby fairies at bay. Thanks! Cheshire! The sudden appearance of two intruders had the fairy fortress in a frenzy. Teresa seized the opportunity and freed Cheshire from his shackles. It was splendid teamwork. Glad to see you're up for a fight. 
These naughty fairies are about to get punished. Hmm, not bad. Better than your crying. Punishment, is it? With pleasure. Both Ceresa and Cheshire were on fire. was cut on Cheshire's leg. Bits of cotton were falling out, along with his magical energy. The fairies had not been kind to their captive. Cheshire could hide his pain no longer. That cut! Unless the wound was mended, the magic-infused threads that bound Cheshire to this world would not last long. Hold still! If you move around like that, you'll just make things worse. Ceresa needed to suture the wound as soon as possible. There was only one way she could think to do it. Remember, Ceresa, as blood flows through veins, magic flows through a witch's hair. Care for it as you would your most precious tool and defend it as you would your very heart. Sorry, Morgana, but I found something more important. These were the precious locks Ceresa was growing out to resemble her mother. As expected, they worked their magic. Cheshire's wound closed in an instant. Don't blame me if that teacher of yours has a fit, Cheshire said quietly. Don't worry, it'll grow back. Besides, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. I promise to send you back. Umbra Witch's honor. What I'm trying to say is... But before she could finish, Cheshire had already returned to his miniature form. Well, get a move on, will you? He added with a squeak. Majesty. 
Ceresa gave Cheshire a tight embrace. Somehow she felt that Cheshire was doing the same.